<laughs> oh god. So I was recording the second episode and I was getting all ready to go and I was getting all ready to get into it and I had all this commentary and it was all fucking great and it was fucking hilarious. But then you but then you know what happened? Turns out I wasn't recording. So you know what that means? That means I get to go through all of this again. I don't really want to go through all of this again. Oh, that's another thing. I forgot to save at the end of the last episode. So, in other words, to get to where I was and where I need to be, I have to go through the first part again. But we're not going to let that deter us. We're going to go... Ah, oh God, so loud. We're just going to go straight for it. We're just going to go and... Speedrun! 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 We got this! 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 Come on! I don't want to see! Creepy, 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 creepy. And. Finally, we're fucking there, and let me just say, first and foremost, it has been so goddamn annoying as I've been going through this. Like, keeping two characters introduced every, like, hour or so, right? But they don't do it in unison, right? Like, I would th think they do it in unison, but then they, like, say it, like, slightly off of one another, and it's driving me fucking insane! Also, I, just, I would just like to point out this time I noticed, they actually do all have bells around their necks. Which is kind of weird. Well, I mean, I guess they're supposed to be cats, but, you know. Ugh. <sighs> <coughs> You have to make you have to fucking make breakfast because we don't fucking trust any of the fucking cats near the fucking fire. Because you know what happens every time we put any fire near any of them, they all burn themselves. I shit you not, some of them like stick their hands straight into the goddamn fire. It's like they just wanna die. But they won't tell me they wanna die, so I can't euthanize them. I can't just take them out back real quick and just <laughs> pop their ones in the brain. This one. Also, this one's name is Maple, and she's not brown. She doesn't even have brown hair. Very fucking disappointed in that. Very fucking disappointed. I want me dark meat. I don't know. Is your butt good? I can't tell if any of you have good asses. That's making this entire game pointless. Oh, by the way, if you hear me playing with something, like if you hear. That shit, that's my hand on some dice. God, I have, do I have a fucking gambling addiction? It's just like, which cat will I want to fuck? Let's roll to find out. Damn it, I don't want to fuck that one. No, but this is just like, yeah, it's just old chores all graceful. Like, oh yes, all these characters are exceptionally deep. It's always like confused me about shit like this. Ah, oh, he has to look very angry with your little shivery. Is supposed to be doing that? I don't know supposed to be doing Look at that. Fuck. But no, um, I was gonna say, I don't know why you choose any of these cats as your wife. They're all like these really one dimensional characters, and you never really learn anything about them. But I guess that's not really the point of a waifu. Well, it depends who you ask. The point of a wife is to get your jizz all over the floor. <laughs> oh god. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd edit a triggered over that. But I want you... You can all imagine it for me. Just triggered as she shakes. There you go. Ooh, also, you're a, you're a neat cat. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> yeah, just. What? <laughs> What 
the fuck am I looking at and listening to? How do you people get off on this? It's two Japanese people going at each other. How does this... Like, what is attractive about it? <laughs> I like to, Jesus Christ. I like to imagine that they're both in the same sound studio and they're just staring right at each other as they're doing this. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. There is no god. Uh... <laughs> You ended up with cat food for breakfast because your brother and your mother and your father don't give a fuck about you. They couldn't even give you something to like microwave or something simple to make. No, they trusted you with these two who are clearly fucking retarded. Who couldn't, who couldn't for like 10 minutes work together to make an actual breakfast. No, no. No, no. They decided to get into a retarded ass cat fight in the middle of the fucking kitchen. Probably broke some shit too. This has to happen on a regular basis, right? But your parents are still so fucking stupid. They just decided, oh, well, you know, it's fine. Fucking fine. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. God damn it. Still ain't dark skin, still ain't them. I'm gonna take a wild fucking guess here. I've only seen one scene with her. But this one on the end here with the fucking purple hair. For one, her name's Cinnamon and she ain't brown, so fuck you, game. Two, she's probably gonna have the same fucking personality throughout the entire thing. She's gonna be the really friendly, the really lighthearted one, which I personally almost always think is the most fucking annoying character in these kind of things. Because it's just like, goodness and light, don't worry about me, I'm kind of like a Mary Sue. My only weakness is caring too much. I really like it when I get to suck my master's dick. <laughs> also, just real quick, I just. just Feel, feel the need to point this out. I'm so glad she's not jiggling at all. That would be fucking disturbing. But this, uh... Fuck. Maple, Azuki, and Cinnamon. Cinnamon here. It's, yes. God, if I learn their names by the end of this, I'll go, fuck. Fuck. But no, just I just want you to like, look at her arm real quick. Look at this! Why is her arm so fucking small? Like, her head is goddamn huge! That or she has a deformed arm here with the teeniest, tiniest little hand and the teeniest, tiniest little arm! And I like to imagine that her hands are just like... Excuse me while I smack my mic. I heard that her hands are just like permanently like fucking stuck to her face. See, if you chose Coconut as a waifu, right, wouldn't you just look at her and just assume she was fucking some other dude? Wouldn't you just look at her and just assume that she was out every week, every day, every what the fuck ever, getting dick from somebody? Or at least being a fucking trollop. I'm assuming a trollop. Oh, and one other thing, I, I, I was just judging her there for a second, excuse me. Uh... Yeah, I just saw a picture of Jesus being very angry at her. Don't ask me. Uh, she, she doesn't have heterochromia, at least. So at least she looks a little bit more interesting than one of these ones who look, oh my god, so painfully generic. That's another thing. It's just like... I really think part of it is just this style, because this is just kind of like the fucking moe bullfuck shit and stuff. But at the same time, it's like, come on. This is the best you fucking got. Like, you couldn't do something to make them at least a little bit more interesting. But no, she just had the heterochromia, so I'll give her points for that. Someone needs to tell this bitch to go, like, further away from the camera. Also, I just want to point something out here. This is just fucking bothering me. Like, this almost looks like it's kind of stuck in place, only moving slightly, but, like, the rest of her body is moving way more. This just doesn't look right. Oh, and there's vanilla. I'd fuck vanilla. I like vanilla, although she needs to brush her teeth before she does anything with me, because why the fuck are you eating cat food? There's, there's nothing. Nothing in the house, not any of you could make. Nothing. You let these two fuckwits 
this this one whose ear you can only barely see, and this one right here whose arm you can barely see. You let them fuck up so bad that you couldn't even make some. It's just like not even like microwave curry. Why was anyone letting you eat cat food? And now chocolate, she I don't care if she eats cat food, fuck her. But vanilla, come on, baby, come on, baby. Oh my god. What the fuck have I gotten myself into? Why did I start this? Oh, well, what the fuck ever. So that's, that's gonna be end of episode two here. I'm trying to do it in like ten minute intervals. Apparently this thing is like roughly an hour or so I've heard. Uh, and if I just start clicking through things, which I just fucking might, because some of this is just like, it, it, it's just like annoying noises. Like, it's two people, it's two grown ass human beings going at each other. Oh, and, and in the meantime, I just want you to imagine that you're in an elevator, and that there's two people with cat ears on, and they will just start meowing at each other and like slapping at each other. You know, like cats playing. How fucking quickly do you just hit, like, the emergency stop on the elevator and just jump out? Like, like even if you can't, you just, like, want to face through the solid fucking door, man! Oh, God. So, uh, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and if you have any suggestions for games that I should play actually related to the idea of being a war correspondent, please let me know. As long as it's not this. Jesus Christ, as long as it's not this. Yeah, 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 safe.